with this episode, it's an emotional roller coaster. It's just fantastic. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. So you've got this lovely little stripe of colour in the sky. And I don't want any of them. God, I'm running around like a headless chicken now. I don't want to watch your turds go down a pipe. It's kind of like a spiral going up to this hoodoo. Oh yeah. Mm. I can't believe he's gone. Maybe we're in for some moody weather. Can I step into your office? That's terrible. Don't pay attention to the forecast. Just get up and just go anyway. It's appropriate. I'm offended. Well, it's day two and our first sunrise at the Hoodoos. And somehow I managed to get up a little bit late. I just saw a little black cat, very cute little black cat. Probably feral, perhaps left here by accident once by a camper. I don't know. If I could find it, I would, I would adopt it. I have a habit of doing that. <laughs> I don't think Leo and Sterling would appreciate that. I've done that before and uh, they did not like it. They did not like it one bit. So as you can probably see, the best of the color has faded off behind me up in the sky. Oh man, have you ever done that? Have you ever got up just half an hour, even 15 minutes too late and just miss that good light? It burns. I've been doing this long enough that I've got no excuses. I shouldn't ever do this, but I do, I do. But even though I missed the first blush of color in the sky, you know how the saying goes, better late than never. Well, I've already found a quite interesting shot looking towards the rising sun. There is actually a little bit of color in those clouds. Let me just point that up. It'll change the exposure value, so I'll just do a quick shot, see if I can capture this beautiful fleeting moment with that reflection that you can see there in the river. I actually really like this shot, so let me just show you the back of the camera and explain what it is that I've framed up. So what we have here, I'm actually shooting a 4x3 for once. Let me just turn down the exposure so you can see what's going on in the sky. A couple of minutes ago, these were far more red. Um, they faded off a little bit now, but it's still quite beautiful. So you've got this lovely little stripe of color in the sky, which is reflected beautifully in that river. And then if I just increase the exposure value a little bit, you can see now all of these cool rock formations and this big pointy hoodoo up here in the top left. And I just love how this all sweeps into the bottom right as a nice frame against that lovely splash of color. Now, if you want to learn how I process my images, be sure to check out my course, Photoshop for Morons. No, I'm not taking the piss, that's actually what it's called. There's a link in the description. So when the sun pops up, and I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess it will pop up round about there. All of the, hopefully you can see these, all of these trees here that are yellow should really catch that light and start to glow very, very hot. And then all of these rock faces here will just catch some lovely rim light on the edges, as should this hoodoo. So I'm quite tempted to, uh, to stay here. Wow, look at this, it's lighting up. This is the second blush, look at this. Look at that. So I might actually reframe this and try and, try and frame something up that takes in all of those elements as well. This is getting really good. I thought, I, I thought I'd miss the best of it. Gladly I was wrong. And like a complete idiot, I decided to abandon this composition and look for something else. Oh God, I'm running around like a headless chicken now, frantically trying to find compositions because everywhere I look, <laughs> it's just fantastic. Look at this. Oh man, this is brilliant, but frustrating at the same time. Where's my shot? Well, not surprisingly, I'm back at the same spot that I was in last night when I was shooting this super wide panorama. And the reason why I've come back is I just want to see what it looks like when the light is coming from the opposite direction.
never ever pay attention to the weather forecast because last night I checked the forecast and it just said completely clear blue skies and I even checked it this morning as it was happening and it said completely clear blue skies and if I'd paid attention to that I would have just stayed in bed I would not have bothered to get up uh, but look at this look how much cloud there is it's just fantastic so that's it my one tip don't pay attention to the forecast just get up and just go anyway so where we are here in Alberta is really close to the border to Montana so if you could just see the tops of those mountains there those are called the Sweetgrass Mountains in northern Montana and if the border was open I would be very tempted to just drive across there and visit Glacier National Park right the sun is fully up the lights getting a little bit harsh it's time to go over there and see what Grumpatius is doing and then if he's done we'll probably head back to the campsite and have a coffee and breakfast so like a good bloodhound, I sniffed the air for that sweet aroma of aging hippie. But what I found could barely be shown on YouTube. Oh, I think I found it. There he is. What are you doing? Oh! Oh, I've got a bit of, bit of dirt on my lens. I can't get off. It's a bit stubborn. Do you oh. want to get it off? There you go. Rub, Cheers, that. Mate. Rub that on your glass. Yeah. Yeah, you polish it. I think the coating's coming off. <laughs> After Grumpton's super intense rub and tug, it was time for brekkie. Oh, we've got the good old uh, avocado toast going here at the campsite. Grumpton's enjoying some posh pate and crackers. Wrapped in uh, pig's foreskin. Mm. And now we're gonna head back out to this viewpoint. We haven't actually driven up there yet, but it must be good because it's called the viewpoint. So we're gonna go and check that out. But on the way there, there's a sandy dump. So we're gonna go and dump our sewage before we go and have a look at that. Do you wanna, do you wanna watch that? No, no, not really. It's quite fun to see. No, I don't wanna watch your turds go down a pipe. No? No. Bit weird. So I've run out of drinking water and uh, this is how you get a refill over at the Grump Wagon. Oh, it's a bit of a dribble, isn't it? It's a bit of a dribble. Yeah, I'll have to pump it. Yeah, give it a good... Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. That's good action, you've got. really pump it. This is filtered water. Yeah? Filtered through your undies? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how long do those ten pumps last before the pressure eases off? I don't know, we'll see. It's getting a bit saggy now. <laughs> give it give it another another rummage oh almost there just a few pumps and that'll do you eh two pump grumpton oh, i'm almost there right let's taste it mm. Mm. pants filtered thanks for the the pump right we're gonna go and check out this uh viewpoint see what all the fuss is about must be good because I saw like 20 or 30 people hanging around here last night. Oh, yeah? yeah, it seemed quite the hot spot. Now, I, I read another plaque, one about the, uh, the rattlesnakes, and it said that although they are venomous, a bite is rarely fatal. So I've decided to go back to my appropriate footwear simply because it's appropriate. I noticed that Grumpton is also very appropriate and with the addition of socks, which is always extra points for style I approve from this viewpoint the curve in the river really opened up with the added bonus of the sweet grass hills being more visible but being this high up we were missing one of the biggest attractions of this area well it's quite an impressive viewpoint from up here uh, especially of the uh, the sweet grass hills over there but we're so far from the action and you're not allowed to hike down on this bit so we've lost all those hoodoos that we wanted to, to shoot so we're, as good as it is I think I think we're gonna head back and go hoodoo hunting from the cute little cactus to the snaking milk river and then those stormy clouds overhead I had a feeling we might be in for something special but domestic chores had to be dealt with first so we're just doing the sandy dump duties and uh, refilling the fresh water so we can travel in comfort again and look at these clouds that have just showed up 
So again, the forecast said blue skies, blue skies all day. And uh, it's the exact opposite. We've, it almost looks like storm clouds. I mean, look at the way that that arcs across the sky. It's quite impressive. And I'm hoping that it, it actually will turn into a storm. It'd be so cool to get this landscape with some storm clouds and thunder or maybe a bit of rain and rainbows. Although I don't think it rains that often out here. So that's probably unlikely. But yeah, maybe we're in for some moody weather. Anyway, we'll finish doing this and then we'll uh, go back and look at some of the other hoodoos on the other side of the campground in the opposite direction to where we were this morning because that's all new territory and I think there might be some gold in them there hills. So now we're on the other side of the valley and uh, it's more of the same but slightly different. When it comes to landscape photography, I just can't resist arches, pinnacles, monoliths and twisted rock formations like these. They're just really turning into something very interesting. And I think I'm, I'm tempted to go and get my camera and start actually shooting. Have a look at these clouds. Well, while the clouds were fascinating, the light was a bit flat and Grumpton was convincing me that nap time was approaching. Time for an old man nap too. I think it's nap the sequel time. We can't say old lady because Amanda's not an old lady. Thanks. And maybe a nice bit of rehydration. And then the nappy. Actually, I'm quite thirsty too. Very thirsty work being out in the desert. All right, well, let's, let's do that then. It's time for a nap. Well, I tried to nap, I really did. But as you know full well, an insomniac such as myself usually gets about 18 minutes of sleep, which results in me having a face like a badger's ham flower. Oh, what's this? <laughs> So it's about two hours later and neither one of us has napped. Can I step into your office? You, you must. Have you got somewhere for me to sit? Yeah. I did have to dodge a few soiled Y fronts, one of which appeared to contain a melted Mars bar. I don't know if as comfortable as your rig, but... That's pretty cosy though. I like it. It's great for one person, you know? Yeah. And Karen comes with me now and then, so it's... It's a bit tight, but it's once you get the cupboards in, that'd be good. To be honest, if, if it wasn't for uh, Amanda, I would have a smaller rig like this, but I like to keep my lady comfortable. Yeah. Oh, hello, love. Come on in. What's well, cozy in here? It's gorgeous, is eh? And then we can all sit here and watch m movies on my, on my cell phone. That's what we should do tonight. <laughs> do you want to turn the heat up? There's no heat. Here's your heat here. It's yeah, gonna... we'll keep you warm. I'll be your heater. I like this sunroof though, I do like that. Well it's nice because um, during the day if I want to have a nap I can close it. Yeah. And then at night I leave it open so you can see the stars. See the star what do you do for fun in the, in the grump wagon? Just watch movies. What's your favourite movie? I don't really have a favourite movie, do you? Drop Dead Fred. Oh, that's terrible. I really enjoyed that series, The Detectorists, that's my favourite. Oh I loved that, yeah. How many seasons did they do? Three. That was it. I think I've only seen two. Oh, the third one's brilliant. What, where do you get it? Acorn. I don't have Acorn, what the hell's that? Well, you could sign up for it through Prime. Oh, God. You get a, a week's free, then watch it all, and then cancel your subscription. That's what I did. And I've been watching the uh, makeup show. Glow, Glow, Glow up. up. Glow Up. I'm done those now. Yeah? Yeah. Ding dong! Oh, <laughs> i got nothing else to watch. I can't stand that. But uh, having watched Glow Up, I do believe that once you've got your hair cut, you should definitely get some eyelash extensions, a whole bunch of Botox under here, and some of those salmon fish lips, because they look so good when people do that. Especially on men. Yeah. Well, what you have to do is you have to shave your eyebrows completely off and then tattoo really thick black ones on. 
because it just looks so good. It really does. And of course, neck tattoos. I think you should get some of those as well. Mm. Oh, oh, come any on. tattoos. Come on, it's the new Grumpton look. Tattoos look great when you're young and they last for about a, a, you know, a minute and then you get bored of them. Then what do you do? Yeah, yeah exactly. then they're stuck on you forever. Well, you have tattoos. I have three. <coughs> and and I don't want any of them. <laughs> when did you get those? Years ago. I mean, you see these models with, you know, their whole body is tattooed and they look good when they're young, and, but when you get older... You're you know? just age-shaming, Adam. I'm, I'm feeling triggered right now by your age-shaming. People are still beautiful, no matter how saggy and distended they become. <laughs> it's still beautiful, Adam. Who are you to judge? Perhaps when you've got your eyelashes, your eyebrows, your Botox and your fish lips, then you can judge. But until then, Adam, I'm offended. That's what I would add. I would add a wood stove. I was gonna... Take that too, passenger seat out. It's too small. Yeah, but if you took that passenger seat out, <laughs> you'd just start, you just, that would be your wood stove. You'd be driving along with, with flames just glowing. Oh, it'd look fantastic. you get arrested, but it would look awesome. I'd put crystals, fuzzy carpet, and a unicorn desk. Yeah, I mean, where's, where's your crystal shelf? We've got a crystal shelf in ours. Oh, I don't have a crystal shelf. Ugh. Well, Amanda's made a lovely salad and uh, I was just going to fry up some fish. Some nice bit of salmon, but my stove packed up. So I've got to wait for Grumpton to come back from the shower and see if I can borrow his. Or we could just eat it raw. Sushi. No, that's just... <laughs> that's just botulism. Anyway, let's see what it's like outside. See if we've got any chance of a sunset. That just looks like it's gonna rain to me. Might be a vino night, love. I drank it all. No, you didn't, Gabe. We've only had one breakfast today. Well, I just we I just enjoyed a really nice salmon supper. What, what have you got there, Grapacious? I've got a nice seafood dish as well. Seafood or just? Fresh tuna from a can. Fresh? Ooh, with yes. uh, homemade pesto. Adam, hmm? we saved some room for dessert. Dessert? Yeah. It depends on how full I might be. He's probably going to be too full for dessert, love. I don't, I don't think we should be giving him a flake dog. A what? Do you think like maybe after a lunch he'll, he'd enjoy it? Maybe that's a better time? I don't. Adam's not really a dessert kind of guy, are you, Adam? I am. I like I like cream cream cake. No, you, you, you know. I could make it creamy. I quite like chocolate. Oh, I love chocolate. You're gonna love my dessert then. Oh yeah, I love pastries. Oh, sure. Especially breads. <laughs> I think he's gonna love it. So we all piled into the grump wagon on the off chance of seeing a good sunset. I have actually had emails from people saying, oh, have you got any bobbleheads of you and Grumpy? <laughs> well, yeah, I could, I could sell you one, but it'll cost you $500. I don't think anyone's <laughs> paying that. Oh, look at those clouds on the horizon. So we didn't get those spectacular storm clouds I was hoping for, but there's always that chance that something might happen. How many glasses of uh, whiskey have you had? A couple. <laughs> nah. I think your driving's great. It's just to stop the shakes, you know? Yeah, exactly. Shakes from last night, I suppose. What's this? Oh, that was from Mexico. Yeah? Look at the little cute one underneath. Oh, that is quite adorable. Well, we better get our asses down there. Hey, Mitchell. buddy. Yeah, there he, he, goes. he didn't Still like it. it. Thanks for the ride. Yeah, yeah that was better than hiking. Know. We better get down to these hoodoos real quick before this light kicks off, eh? Yeah, but I feel like that's two nights in a row now. He's kind of dodging my dessert offerings. I'm sure he's just, he just doesn't have a sweet tooth. But he said he did. Yeah, he's probably just being polite, you know, like, I don't think he does though. Yeah, I don't take it personally, love. I'm trying not. Not everybody loves dessert, you know? Especially yours, yours are so special. Rich, yeah, flavorful. I'm in the wrong spot again. I've come all the way down to the river. I see the light kicking off behind me. 
I've no idea where I need to be. I've got lost. Bloody annoying. Oh, this is infuriating. Just look at what's going on behind me. So frustrated. I found a potentially interesting composition right here. All of these hoodoos looking in that direction, but of course the light is in the exact opposite direction. And it's actually started to fade, so I don't feel too, too let down because there was no chance I had of finding a composition in time for that little cool burst of colour. But I have to prepare for that potential second chance because just like this morning, I wrote it off and then it lit up again. So I need to be ready. So I'm going to give myself five minutes. Have you seen any good comps, love? Yeah, that one. Oh, that is quite good, actually. That's, that's quite good. By the time my five minutes is up and I've found a comp, that's it. The blush is gone. The light is done and it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, it's okay because now I still have something in my back pocket. But I just really loved this rock formation. It's kind of like a spiral going up to this hoodoo. So that will probably work as a sunrise and a sunset image because if the sun is rising over there and it hits all of this textured surface, this kind of spiral surface, that'll be really quite spectacular. And if I shoot super wide, perhaps even do a, a multi-shot pano, I'll have the river in the foreground. It's a shame that that part of the river is just almost dry though, because wouldn't that be fantastic to get a reflexion of some coloured clouds in there like I did this morning. But uh, there you go, that's how it goes. I've got the idea, I've found the spot. <laughs> I don't know if I'll find it again, especially not in the dark, but that is it, the light is done. Now, I'm tempted to go straight to bed because I'm kind of tired, but I really would like to get an astrophotography shot if I can. What do you think? Are these clouds gonna vanish in the next three hours by the time the Milky Way pops up? Very doubtful, but as this area has proven already, things can change real quick. That's it, love. Should we go and find Grumpy? Yeah, do you think he left the powder? Yeah, I, like he did last night. Yeah, we might be walking back. But I think he's in that direction, so if we go in that direction, we should, we should find him. Well, this is where he was shooting this morning, so... Anyway, let's see if we can find Grumpatious. Because this is a bust. Yeah. He left without us. No, no, he wouldn't do that. He's definitely going to be there in that car park. Yeah. Oh yeah, he wouldn't leave us. Let's see. You left. Bastard. What kind of a friend just buggers off and leaves you 700 meters from the campsite? I can't believe he's gone. I guess we're walking back then. In the dark. Did, did you bring a headlamp? No. Did you? No. Oh, hang on, hang on. Who's this? No, is this Grumpton? Yeah, Grumpacious. I knew you wouldn't let us down, mate. Yeah, right. I bet you were swearing and <laughs> complaining that I'd left. We weren't, actually. It was no. a nice night. For we, a we, we wouldn't do that. No, we weren't saying anything bad about you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> can, we, can we get a ride back? Yeah. Ah, let's jump in. Hang on, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> keep going, get a bit more. I think he's gonna love it. <laughs> so, uh, That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a <laughs> yeah. <He's probably> <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a bit of a stubborn, stubborn uh, dust on my lens. Okay, tell you what, put, put your right leg a bit wider, but really spread it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And now a new addition, Grumpton's Interruptions. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably have something like this There's too. There's quite a few flies in here though. That's terrible. It's one of the worst I liked from... the Matrix, I liked the first one. I just wish I had nothing You have a few tattoo regrets. 
but does anything like that? You might even want to get bored of him. He's you know? just age shaming Adam. This weather's kind so of. So, what would you do if you owned this van? The sky is just grey. Rain. Oh, look how low the clouds are over there.